Hi guys, welcome to Central Oregon Recording. Uh, today, we decided to kind of go over some ideas for you uh, since you're stuck at home and we know, you know a lot of musicians are trying to figure out what to do, how to stream. Uh, we've been seeing you know, everyone kind of using their phones, going to Facebook, etc., all of that kind of stuff. So uh, we want to kind of put together some options for you to either look at some of the stuff you might already have, um, some of the stuff you might have to purchase. It's kind of up to you. I know everyone's trying not to spend money when you have no money coming in, um, but hopefully this gives you a few different ideas. Um, so to start with, uh, I know a lot of you guys are just using the microphone on your actual phone uh, and it does a decent job um, you know iPhones they can sound pretty good um, but typically you get a lot of room tone things like that uh, in fact we can actually do a comparison uh, I will kind of we'll switch to the phone right now uh, so this is going to be the audio coming from my iPhone that's recording this and then we're going to come back to this lav mic so the lav mic, you can tell it's clipped on and we're getting a totally different audio. So you typically get a lot of room sound and things, which can be good depending on your, you know, where you're recording. Uh, you know, that whole bathroom effect, you know, everyone sounds better in the shower. Uh, same idea. So, but if you want to try and get a better sound for your streams or you're trying to do something a little different, I wanted to put just a few options together. So first option, um, we picked this up a while ago. This is the Video Micro. Um, this is from Rode Microphones. Uh, so let's open this up and take a look at it so I can show you what it is. I believe these are $59, um, so not super expensive. Um, these are made specifically for, uh, for cameras, but you can use them for your phone. So real quick, let me grab one extra little thing. Okay, so what this is, is basically like a small like condenser mic or like a shotgun style microphone. Um, just looks like this. So it's just a basic little tiny microphone. Uh, it comes with, you know, a windsock here or dead, dead cat or whatever you want to call it, mouse, fuzzy, you know, that kind of thing. So this is, of course, just to help prevent wind when you're outside. Not really needed if you're going to be inside a lot, uh, but it's there for that. Uh, it comes with this great little Rycoat clip. So this just kind of goes on clips on like that. Uh, comes with what we call um, hot shoe mount. So the hot shoe literally will clip onto certain uh, like cameras, things like that, or mounts that we can get. Um, and then it comes with a cable. So the only difference is this cable here, uh, as you can see, it's black on both ends. This is made specifically for a camera. Uh, cameras provide power over this. Now your phone is different. Your phone actually needs a different style of cable, which you can buy from Rode. Um, it's their SC7. So the SC7 is just a tiny bit different. As you can see, it's black and gray. So if I open this up and we'll take a look at it. So we got black and gray ends. So on the black end, you've got what we call a TRS, so a tip, a ring, and a sleeve. It's got the two black bands in it. The gray side is a TRRS, so a tip, a ring, a ring, and a sleeve. You've got three black bands. This is the side that goes to your phone, uh, or in most cases, if you, uh, ooh, did I, did I snag it? Uh, if you have a, um, like an iPhone with like a lightning port, um, you, know, you have to get the adapter lightning to, you know, the eighth inch, uh, which you can find pretty much anywhere. Uh, but this is what you would need to use this with a cell phone. So the idea here is, you, know, you would plug the black end in here, and then this would go to your cell phone, and now you have a better microphone for, you know, say 60, 70 bucks that would go to your phone um, instead of using the actual audio on your phone. So really easy to just plug in, um, and of course, you know, you could even just use an adapter, like if you had an extension or something, you could extend this out, put it wherever you want, but I guarantee you get better audio from something like this. Um, so that's one option that you can try and use. Uh, the other option, of course, some of you might have a small interface already. So, you know, some of you that record at home, things like that. This is a really older, older uh, PreSonus audio box. Um, so let's open this up and look at it. So typically these come, you know, with USB cable. We'll pull this out of here.
Okay, so we don't need the drivers or anything like that. We're not going to a computer. Uh, most of these are U, uh, UPNP, Universal Plug and Play. Um, so typically they don't have any kind of power on them. They're powered off of USB. Now the only problem with that is your phone or iPad or whatever you're using to stream typically doesn't have enough power out of its USB to do something. So you have to use a hub. But this would allow you to get two channels in. Um, and you can use this, say, with actual microphones. If you're setting up like a condenser microphone here to capture, you know, just with one mic, if you're trying to capture your voice and, you know, your guitar or whatever you're doing. Or if you want to try and use two microphones, you have that option on something like this. Uh, so what we would need to do, of course, is, you know, take our, our USB plug here. And this is going to go back in the back of the interface. Um, and then we would need a powered USB hub. So this is just a USB hub. Most of us have one of these on our computer, but it needs its own power. This is what provides power to the interface so that it can run. So if I plug that in, and of course we'll plug it into power, plug that into here. Now, depending on what you're trying to do, if you have an Android, of course, you'll probably be going to like a micro or a mini USB. If you're going to iPhone, you'll need one of these, which is a lightning to, uh, to USB called a camera connection kit. If you have an older iPhone, you know, you might have a different connection, but that would go onto there and this would plug directly into your phone. Now this be being its plug and play, as soon as you plug it into a phone, this should automatically sync and work as an input. Um, so what we can do is we can kind of test that here. So if I move this a little closer, so we can get next to the phone itself. And we're gonna use this phone here. Let's get the little dinghy off the bottom. All righty. And plug it in. So just like that, we now should have access. You see the lights as soon as we got the phone on, the lights turned on. So everything's working properly. So if I grab a mic cable We'll plug this into two, and then I'll take this one, I'll plug it into one, turn on our phantom power. Now we should have everything we need to hear stuff, which is great. And let's see here, kind of make sure our gains are somewhat set. Now, the cool thing with this, um, this, is, this is going straight to the phone already, uh, which is great. If you still want to record, all you would need to do is come out of the outputs, you know, the back side of this thing here, out of the left and right, into another interface into your computer or whatever you're trying to do, and then you would have that as well, um, which is really cool. Um, so now, let's see here. If I have signal there, that one's pretty low, so I'll just kind of make some adjustments here. Can I crank that up a little bit? Okay. Got signal there. We have signal there. Okay. So like that, we have we have sound. So what I can do now, now let's say I have a, a guitar. Um, again, this, this is going straight into the phone. This automatically gives you better sound, so we can kind of do a check there of using you know, this microphone, or if we want to get this one closer, say we want to use this for our vocals, etc., things like that. I might adjust this down, just like you would live. Same idea. Um, you know, and so now all of a sudden we have a microphone kind of picking up everything, or you can move this closer to the guitar. You have a vocal mic, so. What we'll do is we'll change. I'll go from the iPhone sound, and then we'll kind of test the sound coming through an interface, something like this, so, uh, so here it is.
So hopefully there like that you can hear a difference uh, as we switch back and forth between the actual audio on the uh, on the iPhone that we're filming with compared to what's coming through here to kind of give you guys an idea of, of things you could do. Now granted, I mean, we don't have these very, you know, placed very well. Again, like I said, you could move this a little bit closer to try and get the guitar itself. You could also use just the one microphone. Let's say you only wanted to deal with one of those. You could use, you know, a condenser microphone and kind of set it up somewhat in front of you to kind of capture the same thing. It's, it's be the same idea, you know, as using something like this, um, but these are going to be a better quality. Um, not to say this is bad. This actually sounds fantastic. Uh, we use this for our videos, and it's great. Um, but again, you have a little bit more control this way or like that splitting out. Uh, also, if you're in an entire band and you guys are staying six feet away from each other in practice, let's say you had a board of some kind, um, something that you could use, you know, um, which would be kind of neat. So you could, in theory, basically take the feeds off of your board, off your left and right. You could go into these, into the inputs here. So you could still mix like an entire band. Let's say you had like a 16 or 24 channel board. Take the left and right outs, just watch your levels, but you can plug into the front of something like this, send it to your phone, and now all of a sudden, your whole band, you can do something online for people. Um, it usually helps to have somebody there kind of monitoring and listening to what's happening so they can make adjustments, um, but you should be pretty good. Uh, yeah, so that, that's pretty much everything in a nutshell that I can think of. Um, and, and we did test this. It goes straight to Facebook Live, fine. Um, I know with YouTube, it's a little weird because you have to have so many subscribers to go live from a phone. Um, for those of you that want to know more about trying to go to YouTube um, live, you can contact us. Um, we do that using certain software that's free. Um, and I can kind of, we can kind of help walk you through setting that stuff up. But, you know, like that Facebook, Instagram, uh, you know, IGTV, things like that are free. You can even just record this. This will work coming into like your phone's camera if you don't want to go live and you want to record it and then maybe make some edits or things. This works as well. It works just great. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, again, hit the subscribe button uh, if you would please and go ahead and tap that notification bell that will let you know every time we release a new video. Uh, we're going to be trying to do a few things like this first, trying to get you guys um, just some updates and ideas as we're still going through this whole COVID thing. Uh, and then we will start moving on to like recording stuff as well. So if, if any of that stuff interests you, uh, just go ahead and subscribe. All right, we'll see you next time.